Okay, today on the workbench we've got this fairly rare robot. This was uh, made by Paya in Spain and uh, originally appeared in the stores around 1967 and from what I read it was available in stores till about 1972. It's uh, battery operated, two C cells, has a moving paper screen display TV, flashing eyes, uh, moves on wheels and as the wheels move, that uh, will move the legs to give kind of a leg-looking motion. Uh, it's really hard to fit batteries in here, so I had to get dollar store batteries because they're a little bit smaller around than modern batteries, but even they fit extremely tight. Uh, the main repair I had to do actually was to the battery box. There's this whole fiber board here. I had to make a new one. The old one had deteriorated. These large wheels on the bottom are actually driven, and maybe we can get the camera we can see it, are driven by these wheels up there. And see these are in slots, so if you pick them up they don't grab, but if you push then they would grab. And uh, I'm trying to say there's a wheel like that on each side which drive these wheels. Uh, the plastic that those wheels are made out of uh, has a reaction with the plastic that the robot's body is made out of, chemical reaction, and they uh, tend to eat into each other. One of them was getting pretty gooey down in there. Uh, there was also a bad wire in here besides the uh, battery box problem. And I guess the on-off switch is located down here. It's rather primitive. And you can see what holds the batteries in is this white wire clip. You actually take this clip and it clips into a slot back there and back there you open that up then you pull this tab to yank and get the batteries out of there. Alright, well let's uh, take a look at the TV screen here first. Let's get uh, get that going. It's more like a cartoon than most of our TV robots, but it has the action like the Alps TV robot. Let me see the uh, Action is like this. The uh, where's that on off kick? The uh, arms are linked to the legs. The legs are linked to a cam on the wheels. As you notice, there were flashing eyes there, and there's a little uh, antenna whip action there. There's a couple of different decal versions. Ones with different decals and markings. Uh, the hat can be removed. But uh, there you have it. Kind of an odd one. Fragile. Of course it wasn't meant to last this long. You know, you get 60, 70 years old on these things and surprise there's any part of them left at all. But there's your... Well, let me show you a picture off Alphadrome so you can see what the box looked like too. Here you go. And let's zoom in on that. You can see when the box makes it look like it's Jaya, J-A-Y-A, but everything I can see written about this thing says it's P-A-Y-A, Paya. So I don't know if that was just a fancy P or Ja or it's how it's pronounced. Don't ask me. I don't know. But uh, you can see this one here has a slightly different uh, decal. That's the same. Chest decal was different. Than, than the one we've got here. But uh, there you have it.